Best of luck to you, sir. I may warn you, I've been practicing my mix-up game. Oh, I love your fate work, sir. I'm feeling confident. Let's try the mini. Oh my god! You have no honor! You're savages! You're a bunch of savages! Oh, sir! I was here first! Thank you! Oh, how rude! You forgot to faint before attacking! I will show you the way of the duelist! Dear friend, you are required at the minion lane. Please do your job, sir. Sir? Yes, that is a lovely beast. But please do your job. I seek not playtime. I am being quite serious. I will show you what I can do. What kind of sorcery is this? You have no honor and shall be dealt with accordingly. Hey guys, Casual Champ here. Today we're making a general Dominion guide. So this is by no means a ultimate competitive strategy guide. It's more basic tips to ensure you're maximizing game points and win more games. And sometimes, even if the other team is completely crushing you. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first thing you want to do is play to your role. There are basically three roles in this game. There's side point, mid, and roamers. We'll look at side points first. Usually heavies will do better at this because they can get the most renown by boosting zone. But others character can also do well in this role depending of the perks and feats that they're using. So some of the big names that we see in the side points are of course Nutcracker, Dynasty Warriors Guan Yu, the elephant that can't run around corners. Forehead. The great Jeanne d'Arc. Or Yuan of Arc. John Wick. Tiandi 2.0. And finally, the old lady on the two packs a day. So second role we have the mid laners, so those are guys that can heal from killing minion and have great zone attack to kill them very quickly. So naturally vanguards do great at this, but other characters can do also well if they can heal from minions. So of course we have glitchy light attacks, the guy swinging a goddamn tree, hockey stick. The old guy that can't run to save his own life. Come on, you can do it. There you go. One trick pony. Russell Crowe. Sandals. And the farmer's wife. So for the last role we have roamers. Usually Assassin do good at this because they have good running speed and good damage and usually good gank too But do keep in mind that in order to gain renown levels Assassins have a harder time doing it because it right requires them to have kill streaks So unless you have like a KD of 2.5 I wouldn't I wouldn't pick assassin and expect to do great in Dominion you might be better off playing with a vanguard or a heavy. I'm not saying don't do it, of course, do whatever you want. I'm just saying you might have an easier time with a vanguard or a heavy. So, as a roamer, your job is basically to help your teammate if they're defending a zone or to capture a zone yourself. So you're not gonna stay at either A or B, you're gonna keep running back and forth where your teammate needs you. So as you can see in this clip, I see that my shaman teammate is fighting this warden. So I go help her achieve the almighty shaman gank. And this guy doesn't like it at all. So doing great in this role, we have 
Diablos 2 Barbarian. The failed ballet dancer. Foot fetish. Deep man. A loud mouth. You captured. Ninja Gaiden. The most annoying piece of. And finally, my sweet, sweet, sweet Valkyrie. So these rolls go hand in hand with basic tips. Tip number one don't lose your zone and keep boosting it. See if you have a heavy doing its job. Tip number one is done for. Tip number two don't lose B. Always have someone fighting at B. B does, I believe, 1.5 points a second. You can't boost it, but you can lose it. So if you're boosting A and you have B the entire time, tip number three goes hand in hand with the roamers. And that is learn how to gank. I, I do have a video coming up next on how to gank, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. But the basic lines here are let your teammate do their maximum punish. So for example, if your teammate just guard broke someone, don't don't smack a light in his face. Wait for him to do his heavy. You can time your heavies to punish parry attempts. That always works. If the guy is just turtling and blocking everything, then you can be a bit more aggressive and use your bashes to open him up. Next tip we have is heal, don't die. I know it sounds kind of stupid, but a lot of people are having team fights at B and they seem to feel like they have to fight to the death. Not really. If you have a teammate boosting at A, like you should, you can leave a 2v2 or a 3v3, run to your zone and try to get your teammate that was boosting it to come take your place for a while while you heal. So next step. Plan your role according to what your teammates picked. Example, you just noticed your team just picked three assassins. Are you gonna go for a shaman? You probably shouldn't. Maybe you should go for a side points or a mid laners because none of the assassin can kill minion effectively. And while some of them can hold zone pretty well, like shaman or Orochi with their feats, but none of them get good renown by just sitting on a zone and boosting it so you might have to pick something that's more complementary to your teammates for the next step learn how to rotate what i mean is this is not a 4v4 skirmish you don't have to run blindly towards enemy every time you see one if you see what your teammates have in a 2v1 ask yourself do i need to be there do these guys need me to kill this one dude? Probably not. You might be better off fighting at B or even contest your enemy's zone. And this goes hand in hand with my last tip, which is learn when to push the enemy's zone. One example is when your whole team is dying at your own zone. If you're just respawn and you're looking at uh, 3v1 and maybe even 4v1, the odds of you getting out of this and regaining your zone are, is, are extremely small, you might be better off just rushing at their zone and stealing it. So by doing that, you're going to keep your team in the game by scoring points and also you're going to attract some or most of them back to their zone to retake it from you. And lastly, if your team is dominating, you have both A boosted and B. And if two or more of the other team are dead, they're on the timer, you can go and contest their zone. Not necessarily to steal it, but to make sure that they're not making any points and maybe win the game any faster. So guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Next week, we're doing a how to gank video, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. Like if you've enjoyed this video. And as always, um... Try not to break a controller, I guess. Cheers.